Scrabble has a long history of competitive play in both the US and the UK, where national champions have been crowned since the 70s. Since that time, only one player has won national championships in both of these two countries. That player is Austin Shin. Not only is Austin the only player ever to accomplish this feat, he also did it in the same year. He since followed that up with a second North American championship in 2022 and is regarded as one of the world's best players. But despite his ample over-the-board accolades, for me, one of Austin's most memorable achievements was his performance in an unofficial tournament played on the Scrabble Go app in 2020. This was an eight-player invitational match play event, and I was behind the controls as the event's producer, so I remember it very well. With victories in the quarterfinals and semifinals, Austin secured a place in the best of seven finals against Cecilia Lee, a strong expert player who's been ranked in the top 50 in North America for most of the last decade. The ensuing match was a spectacular display of high-level Scrabble. In game one, Cecilia lands the first bingo with Aconite, while Austin counters with Strange, leading to this position. Austin doesn't have any high-scoring X plays here, so he makes a really clever choice. Tram for 21, setting up a huge spot for his X if he can draw an I or a U. There's also a spot available at the top of the board if he can draw an E. The only risk is that Cecilia just played an S on her previous move, suggesting a slightly higher likelihood of having a second one that she can use to score very well. In fact, she does, and she uses it to play her top response of Vrows and Velts for 47 points. While Austin does draw the I he needs to cash in his X for 48, he remains swamped by consonants and he struggles with them for the rest of the game, while Cecilia eventually lands Rainsman for 70 to put Game 1 out of reach. In Game 2, Cecilia jumps out to a big early lead with Librates, Aniseed, and a big X play, and while Austin cuts the gap slightly with Proet for 76, two turns later, Cecilia again spots her top-scoring bingo of Penangs. Still saddled with consonants, Austin plays Dak for 47, and Cecilia blocks off the triple lane with Girdle. In response, Austin makes an absolutely gorgeous play of Begirdled for 42 points, the only play that gives him realistic winning chances. He manages to fight back to just a 12-point deficit, but Cecilia bingos with Tree Nail, and Austin plucks an untimely cue from the bag en route to a second win for Cecilia. In game three, Austin has the opening bingo of naughtier, except that this word is only valid in the Collins Dictionary. The amazing thing about Austin's performance in this event is that he had essentially no prior experience playing with the North American Dictionary, frequently finding words he knew were valid normally and having the app reject them. Nevertheless, he perseveres with rending, followed by the impressive non-level. And after Souk for 44, he's ahead by nearly 100 points. But Cecilia goes on a spree of phenomenal plays, including bingos of Aerosat and Censure, and the high-scoring Adaita and Fora hooking Censurer. Suddenly behind on the scoreboard, Austin can counter with Viameter to the T of Adaita, but this is another word that's only playable in Collins. After settling for his top choice of Vice for 39, Cecilia plays Wavy for the same score and uses that W on her very next move for the knockout blow of Winiest for 95, as Cecilia goes up three games to zero. In order to win this match, Austin now needs to win four straight games against a very strong opponent playing at the top of her game. Fortunately, his tiles cooperate in Game 4, and while Cecilia is able to land four consecutive turns of 40-point plays, Austin does even better, hitting two bingos and a 70-point Z play to stay ahead. And on this turn, with Saturate available for 66 points, but also exposing several enticing bingo lanes for Cecilia, he instead spots the beautiful Truant Tree for two more points, and even more importantly, keeping the board closed. As a result, Cecilia never ends up bingoing in this game, 
and Austin cruises to a much-needed win, but he still has a long way to go. In Game 5, Austin jumps out to an early lead with an opening bingo of foraged for 82, and just as Cecilia cuts into the deficit with Bickers, he bingos a second time with Trusters. Austin then lands big Z and J plays, putting Cecilia down by over 100, and with low point tiles and no bingos available, she attempts a desperation opening with Laity. Austin has many bingos here, including the top-scoring toe-like for 74, but he finds his only bingo that blocks the dangerous, newly opened triple lane, Etiolate for 68. Cecilia answers with Wax for 64, but Austin is up by too much, and he ends up handily winning Game 5. In Game 6, both players trade early bingos with Pinkier and Nitrils, but Cecilia seizes the lead with the excellent find of Fritz for 50. Austin can't do much with his X and has to dump it for only 24, leaving 4 consonants, while Cecilia has the J and is poised to do huge damage with it. Her top scoring play by far is Joiner for 58, which she spots and plays quickly to go up by over 100. But at this critical moment, Austin draws two vowels, an A and a U, and incredibly, he has the triple-triple of Urbanist through the R for 149 points, completely swinging the momentum of the game. Cecilia could have played Jive instead of Joiner to avoid opening the triple lane, but doing so would have sacrificed 11 points, and Austin did still have Unbasted ready to go down for a strong score to even the game. Cecilia draws horrendous tiles, including all three Gs, while Austin draws the second blank and, as usual, spots his highest scoring bingo of Crusados. And just like that, he's the one up by 100. Cecilia does make an amazingly clever play late in the game in this position, simply playing Vum for 14 points. Her goal here is to draw the reasonably likely EI combination from the bag and play Gynoesia for 90 points, which at least is enough to make things interesting, but she doesn't hit her miracle draw, and Austin evens the series at three games apiece. In the decisive Game 7, Cecilia is beset by clunky tiles from the get-go, while Austin bingos on back-to-back -back turns with Lucons and Abaters for 80 points apiece. Cecilia makes a dazzling play in this position of Frigid for 42 with a slew of overlaps, but Austin answers right back with his own 42-point overlap of Sete, continuing to close down the board. One turn later, he draws the second blank and spots his highest scoring bingo of Ensold for 82, running away with Game 7 by a score of 506 to 315 and completing the miraculous comeback. Austin's epic comeback and overall performance in the finals was a testament not only to his amazing Scrabble skills, but also to his peerless competitive mindset. His well-known catchphrase, scoring never stops, is as much about his particular style of play as it is about his unwillingness to give up no matter the situation. It's important to emphasize that Cecilia also played magnificently throughout the event, finals included, but many players would have lost focus down three games to zero, and it was Austin's mindset as much as his Scrabble skill that made the difference for him here. I definitely recommend that you catch Austin on his Twitch channel where he streams lots of different types of elite Scrabble gameplay. But if you're watching this video shortly after its release, there's an even better reason to head over to his channel right now. He's hosting live streaming coverage of one of North America's premier regional events, the Crescent City Cup. This event routinely draws many of the top players in the country, so I strongly encourage you to head on over to Austin's channel and watch some amazing Scrabble. I hope to see you there, and as always, thanks for watching.